I'm sorry, madam. I'm going to have to look inside your purse. The metal detector seems to have detected a lot of loose change in your wallet. Gee. Make it snappy, agent. I need to catch my flight. This is the first time I'm being searched for carrying too much money. I'll tell you, Agent Larry, I know a thing or two about money and how to spend it. Well then, tell me then the first thing that comes to your little head about spending money. Banking 101. Open a savings account for your child at birth and start teaching them to not spend money they don't have. Seriously? If we were doing that we would have a balanced budget, and we wouldn't have to be dealing with government departments that we don't need, digging in our wallets, looking for loose change. Years ago it was considered taboo to discuss your personal finances with your kids. In today's financial times, it is imperative that you discuss the basics of finances with children starting at a young age. Tell me, do you discuss money with your kids? Well, sure. I always ask them for change back after I give them their lunch money. Start teaching kids basic budgeting skills early, and as they grow, progressively grow the lessons to the point of developing their own budget. Basic money management requires that you track your spending and identify where your funds are going. How do you track your money? Um, well... I guess if I can afford to fly first class, I sure can balance my own budget, honey. I track my bank account, balance my checkbook, never charge anything that I cannot pay for that month, and I keep separate lists of my wants versus my needs. This can be challenging because teenagers think everything they want is a need. Help them identify the basics of food, shelter and clothing not the latest fashion. Although they may be able to get an item that they want but don't necessarily need, make sure they understand that it should be included in their budget in order for them to be able to make the purchase. Ooh, Larry, you want to know what I want right now? Um, your boarding pass. No, you silly goose. Teach your kids that credit should be used with care. Help them understand how buying something they want, but don't necessarily need, on credit now could result in acquiring too much debt leading to problems later. Use the credit card statement as a teaching tool to share the concept of simple versus compound interest. Show your teens that only about 15% of each minimum payment goes toward the principal balance and the remaining 85% goes towards interest. They need to understand that a $3,000 balance could take close to 40 years to pay off if they paid the minimum payment each month. OMG! Most people, not to mention teenagers, are clueless about credit scores and how to establish and maintain good credit. Credit scores reflect how well you manage your credit. The scores are similar to the grades that students receive in school. Investing is a tool that can be taught early. Teach your teens that people have ownership in various companies by purchasing stocks. So, tell me Larry, how big is your 401k? That is private, honey. I always say to kids that privacy is just as valuable as the items or cash that they try to safeguard and protect. To help keep your teaching moments interesting, Consider playing games like Monopoly, which teaches the advantages of owning property and shows them how their assets will start to work for them. While you're at it, teach your teens how to make change without depending on a cash register or calculator. Ever notice how fast kids can spend your money? Give your kids the responsibility of paying their own way and watch the spending decline. Allow them to earn an allowance and require them to be responsible for a bill such as their cell phone or weekly lunch money. Make sure you enforce the budgeting process to ensure they understand their role. You will be amazed how those spending habits change when the money comes from their wallet. Speaking of wallets, where's my wallet? Did you take my wallet? I'm going to give you a whoopee. Well, you better catch that flight, honey, or may have to walk back home. 
I'm now going to leave you with this last thought. Why is money called dough? Because we all need it.